up everybody, Cody here and welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing an install of the EasyLip Pro Edition. I already have an existing EasyLip on the car, the standard version, but what had happened was about a week ago, I ended up bottoming out the car in a location where I was taking pictures and it ended up bottoming out on the front lip. Thank God I had the EasyLip on there because my front lip doesn't have any dings or scratches on it. And because it served its purpose, I went ahead right then and there, went online and bought the Easy Lip, but Pro Edition. The only difference with the Easy Lip Pro Edition is that it's just a little bit, a little bit wider. So it hangs a little bit lower down from the front lip. It really looks awesome. I ordered it right from eBay and it was shipped that day and it got here super fast. It took two days to get right to my house. So thank you Easy Lip for being so proactive and getting that sent out to me immediately. If you guys think that Easy Lip should send me one of the products to do a giveaway, leave in the comment box below, tag them, hashtag them, whatever we gotta do, maybe they will. Now I just found out that the package got delivered today. So I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna get the package, bring it upstairs and do a quick unboxing for you guys. And that's it, let's get moving. Okay, let's tear this thing right open. Just as I thought, it's the Easy Lip, the classic bubble wrap I ordered for the extra bit of horsepower as well. Just kidding, get it out of here. But this is it, plain and simple. I knew what was gonna be coming in the mail, what to expect since I already had one on my charger. Same quality, just a little bit wider than the original one I had on the charger. And that's all we got. And let's get this out of here too. So that's it. I told you the unboxing was gonna be pretty quick. That's all that came in the package is the Easy Lip. And uh, that's all you get. So let's go ahead. Let's not waste any more time. And let's get the ball rolling. Let's go. So here's what I was talking about before. This is where the, the, the front of the lip took the hit and where the easy lip protected it. All right, so first things first, literally I'm just gonna go ahead and start, start getting this thing off my front lip. It's very, it's kind of time consuming, so have some patience. But as you guys can see, I just go ahead, I pick at it and I pull it right off. Now, if you want this to be a little bit easier to come off your car, Obviously, you can use a heating source as well. All done. Moving on. All right, I'm going to take some of this glue gun, guys. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here under the front lip where the adhesive tape was. So I'm just going to put it into the microfiber towel. I'm going to be kind of generous with it. And then I'm going to go right along where the adhesive tape is and soak the glue gun into that tape. I let the Gugan sit for about five minutes and then I'm just gonna start scraping and picking at the adhesive tape, trying to get as much off as possible. Next step, gonna take this microfiber towel and I'm gonna go ahead and use the chemical guys oxidizer to wash the bottom of the front lip so I can get off any excess debris, dirt, and tape. Done. Time to stick on the Easy Lip Pro. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead 
and start sticking the Easy Lift Pro on. Before we do so, make sure you guys line it up and make sure you have an idea to where you want it. Now take your time in this, there's no point in rushing. You know, make sure that every single time you guys stick it, that you're not applying, you know, full pressure. Just give it a little bit, just enough where it sticks on, and then gradually just make your way around the vehicle. But notice how I'm not pulling the red plastic part all the way back because I don't want it to end up getting any debris or anything like that on the adhesive tape. So I stay patient and then I make sure that when I get to a certain spot, I do a nice walk around of the car and make sure that I'm liking it so far. So the process continues. I'm doing the same thing all the way around to the op all the way all the way around to the other side of the car. Same thing. I get up, I make sure that it's looking right. I'm applying very light pressure until the very end. So that completes the final installation of the Easy Lip Pro. I'm 100% satisfied with it. It looks great. Now, thank you guys that have stuck with me throughout this entire video. If you guys haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that subscribe button. You give it a thumbs up if you do like this video and leave some love, comments, or recommendations in the box below. Anything, guys, and I'll make sure to get back to you. To end this video, I'm gonna go ahead and include some photos of the 2020 Dodge Charger GT with the Easy Lip Pro on the car.